<laughs> uh, how does it feel to get the actual guilty pleas? Well, I mean, th this is an occasion where any time the, the trust of a, an elected public official has been tarnished, um, you know, it, it, it comes with a, a couple different uh, feelings. And, um, you know, that, that part is disappointing that, that it has come to this, that, that someone would try to manipulate our election process. But at the same time, it's, it's about restoring that confidence that, that folks might have lost, and that's all I've ever wanted to do is make sure that we were confident in, in our voting process and, and in our democracy and in the, in the voting process that, that really is the basis for our democracy. Do you think this will make a change in Lincoln County and perhaps in southern West Virginia where these problems have been endemic for years? I do. I, I do, or I, I wouldn't feel confident in, in, in why we do it and why we do our job, but I think that folks can see now that, that it won't be tolerated election law violations, no matter where they take place, won't be tolerated. And that's certainly um, what we've shown and, and what we continue to show with um, with whatever avenue these investigations take. You felt, you felt somewhat constrained by your ability to speak out during the during this process. Do you think that the laws in terms of the Secretary of State need to be changed? Well, you're right. You're, you're right, Bob, that there there is code and there's election law that says that um, if there is a complaint filed, that the, the complainant nor the investigator or, or the, the person, um, the respondent, can speak about that. And I think that, um, yes, we, we work and find, and, and yes, I am willing to, to talk and, and talk about the election process as it takes place. But you saw that, that we and the Secretary of State's office followed that, and we're going to continue to do that because you see the success that came from it. I think that if you talk to any investigator, whether election law investigators or whether there are police investigators, that um, many times keeping quiet about what you're doing might be more beneficial. And, and you saw that, that it just takes patience, and it took especially patience on our part in the, in the face of any criticism that, that um, a 20-month, a 21-month investigation, an ongoing investigation has been successful. Do you think that the state needs more te teaching this law? So all the significant prosecutions, I think, fair to say, have been have moved up here into the federal court system. You're right, because federal federal law has the uh, the felony um, uh, attached to it. There are only a few of West Virginia state law that, that are felonies. Most of them are misdemeanors. And that's why the cooperation is so important. And, and the cooperation in, in, in each person and each agency, rather, does its job. And, and that's why I'm proud of what the Secretary of State's office did. Um, if you followed this, and, and you all have followed this case through a special uh, judge in, in, in what he determined that we in the Secretary of State's office did not stop doing our job, did not stop investigating. And you see what's taken place, and you see the confidence is now in, in the election process. Is there more to come? Are there more Lincoln County officials that will fall ultimately because of this conspiracy? Well, as, you, as you've heard, and as you've heard the federal prosecutor say, too, that the investigation is ongoing, and, and you saw the actions of last week that took place with the Secretary of State investigator and an FBI agent as well. So uh, I, I, I will not continue to talk about that, but you can see the, the work that we're doing with the investigation continues. Uh, no, those were mine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.